Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna do a very quick tag video today. Andrea Severson tagged me to do the favorites tag. So this is what we're gonna do really quickly while I'm sitting here in the car and people think I'm nuts. This technically is an author tube favorites tag because you know, believe it or not, I actually write books. You may not know that because you may not have seen it if you've joined the channel recently, but yes, I am actually an author, but it doesn't really have too much to do with author tube. So I'm just calling it the favorites tag since my channel isn't completely an author tube channel anymore. Question number one is what is your favorite musician or band? It's hard for me to pick a favorite. I do like different kinds of music. I like country. I like rock. I sometimes like pop and hip hop only like when I'm cleaning or something or I need to get really motivated. But I've always really enjoyed Carrie Underwood. So that's just usually my go to answer for that. One. Question number two is what is your three favorite films? This is even more difficult. I don't know who came up with these questions for this favorites tag, but they're the most difficult questions that could ever be chosen. So I'm just going to mention the first three that come to mind. So we have Back to the Future, Star Wars, and Iron Man. Those are the three that come to mind. That aren't, you know, Disney films because, well, technically I guess Star Wars is Disney now, but I'm talking the original Star Wars. Um, because there is a question about Disney films, which we'll get to in a minute. But first, question number three is, what is your favorite scent? I have a lot that I like, um, especially now that I'm getting in, back into candles and stuff, but I'd have to say probably cinnamon. I love the smell of cinnamon, as long as it's not too overpowering, and it's definitely a go-to this time of year for me. And now we come to the favorite Disney films. Actually, it says favorite Disney film, so one. And like Andrea, I'm going to stick with the animated versions, and this is an answer that I don't see a lot of people give, but I really love the movie Emperor's New Groove. I think it's funny. I think it's entertaining. I love the voices that are used. I just, it's got magic. It's, it's just fantastic. I, I just, I cannot watch it enough. This question is probably a duh answer at this point if you've been on my channel for a while it is your favorite season and of course without even having to say it you all know it's autumn and you all know why no heat no bugs pumpkin spice flavored stuff yeah you all know this by now i don't have to repeat myself the next question is if your favorite seasonal drink now i don't know what season this was intended to be for Obviously, in autumn, as I just said, it's pumpkin spice, not this caramel crap I'm being forced to drink because Dunkin' can't keep pumpkin spice in stock. And the only reason I'm drinking Dunkin' Donuts is because I don't have any money for Starbucks and I had a freebie for Dunkin' Donuts. So, unfortunately, it's Dunkin' Donuts today, which I used to drink all the time. Not since I've been drinking Starbucks. I did get a shot of espresso put into this and it is a little bit better that way, but it's still not Starbucks. If we're talking Christmas season, it's vanilla and sugar cookie. If we're talking winter in general, it's not really a flavor for me for winter. In winter, it's more just hot chocolate all the darn time. And I don't really have a flavor for summer really either. Probably caramel. Um, just because that's my go-to and I do really like lemonade. Number seven is your favorite article of clothing. I don't really have one. Um, I love that I've gone down two jean sizes, almost three jean sizes. Don't love the way it happened because it's because I couldn't eat while I was recovering from my wisdom tooth surgery. Don't recommend that weight loss strategy. But I don't really have a favorite article of clothing. I mean, I have favorite accessories. Um, I There's certain things I like better than others. I don't really like v-neck shirts anymore, as you've noticed. Um, that's pretty much what I got rid of in that decluttering of my closet. In the winter months, I do have a favorite sweater. So, although it may be, there may be a new favorite now because my mom got me the Hocus Pocus one, but we'll see. I have a Stitch Spirit jersey that I got from Disney World, which unfortunately is getting kind of bad because it's I've had it for a while and I wear it all the time in the winter months. So I would say that probably in the winter is my favorite article of clothing, but otherwise I don't really have favorite pieces of clothing. I don't know, it's just not a thing for me. Number eight is your favorite author of all time. Since we're talking all time since books were created, I'm going to give you two answers, Arthur Conan Doyle and Jules Verne. 
Arthur Conan Doyle because I love murder mysteries and Sherlock Holmes is the best detective ever. And Jules Verne because I love the way he does adventures and I love how ahead of his time he was with these adventures. He didn't really ever think there was a limitation. He just thought up a story, wrote it, and got it published. That was amazing. I love that he always stuck to what he wanted and never caved to it's impossible. Favorite spot for writing. I don't have one. I do have a, a writing desk now, which is in my office, but I can't use it in the summer. So I don't really have a favorite writing spot because I kind of write all over the place. I write in cafes, I write in my apartment, in my living room, in my bedroom. You know, sometimes I write on the floor, sometimes I write in, you know, in the car, in a gas station, like I'm recording this video. I don't really have a favorite reading spot either. You know what I mean? Kind of in bed, but I do actually have a reading chair now. I, I honestly, I will read anywhere too, but yeah, that probably the most often where I read is in bed. Favorite food or dessert? Favorite food is probably pizza and favorite dessert pumpkin pie favorite time of day this varies depending on the season what i'm doing and just my mood but more often than not it's first thing in the morning fresh day fresh start and usually dark because i get up at 6 30 and especially now that it's autumn it's getting darker and it's staying darker later which is great for my mood not so great for me getting out of bed though Favorite color, orange, browns, green, purple. I have a lot of favorite colors. Probably if I had to pick one for year round, it would be purple. Number 13, lucky number 13 is three favorite author tubers. So if you don't know what author tube is, let me just give a little bit of an explanation. If you don't know what author tube is, it's just basically YouTube for authors. So it's authors making videos, things like that. Um, and I would have to say without saying Andrea and being biased, but she is one of my favorites. Um, I would have to say Sarah Sutton, which we all know I love. Autumn Ashley, who is a author, though she's not a published author yet, but I just love her videos. I love her, her honesty and her straightforwardness and just her passion for writing really comes through in her videos. And a third one, I still really love Meredith Phillips. Unfortunately, she has not been on YouTube in a long time, and I'm sure I have the full author two community behind me when I say I hope everything is okay, Meredith. I hope you're able to come back because we really love your videos. We really love you, and I just, I have been so worried, and I'm just very, very, very hopeful everything is okay. For current YouTubers, current author tubers, I would say my third one would probably be Sarah Labratt who, lovely for her, love this for her, has finally, finally, after so many amazing videos, started doing content creation full time. I am so thrilled for her. Her video where she talks about it and all the emotions she goes through is amazing. I am just so happy for her and I wish her the best of luck. And all of these author tubers that I've mentioned will be list linked below, including Meredith so you can check them out and please please go to Sarah Labratt's channel and support her and wish her luck on her, her new journey in life. I'm sure she would appreciate it. Okay three more questions, three more questions, three more questions. First is one we're gonna skip because it says favorite musical or play of which I have none. So moving on. Favorite place you've ever visited? I have not gone very many places. I have gone to Canada, Florida, Connecticut, Vermont, Las Vegas, North Carolina, Pennsylvania. And these are places that I stopped in, not just places we drove through. And I was born in Texas. Definitely wasn't Texas, even though I was only three months old when we moved. I don't know care what anybody says. I do remember some parts of Texas and I hated it. So definitely not Texas. Definitely not Pennsylvania because of the potholes. Definitely not North Carolina, although there wasn't anything too wrong with it. It's just it's a very religious state and I'm not a religious person. Definitely not Vegas. Definitely not Canada. It'd probably be not Connecticut because holy crap, Connecticut drivers are nuts. And yeah, no, I just, we couldn't find our way around Connecticut. It was just a disaster of a vacation. So I would say it'd probably be a tie between Florida and Vermont. 
Um, I think Vermont might push Florida out just a little bit for two reasons. There's not as much creepy crawlies and critters around and it doesn't get as hot. So I would say, yeah, probably Vermont. And then the last question is who do I tag? I'm not sure who's done this. I'm not sure who's not done this. And I want to kind of try to get this tag further out, not just author tubers. So if you watch this channel and you want to do it, you want these questions, they will be in the description for you. And I would love to see a video of it. So if you do it, tag me, let me know. Comment below that you've done it or that you're going to do it and I will check it out. And that's it for today's video, guys. It's just a very quick tag video just to give you a little bit of insight into me. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, to see what I do, which is mostly vlogs. It's not usually these talking head videos, mostly vlogs. I would love to have you. I'm at 90 subscribers. Oh, it's so amazing. I cannot wait 10, 10 more subscribers to 100. Also, quick note, make sure to be around on Thursday the 15th to join me for a live video where we will discuss my one year of being a vlogger. And we'll talk some interesting things we'll have a q a session and then we're just gonna have some fun also i want to start ending my videos in an interesting way so what we're going to do and this is inspired by miss andrea who tagged me for this video is we're going to give you a question at the end of every video a personal question at the end of every video so for this video, since it is a favorites tag, let's add an extra favorites question. Inspired by this very large coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, I would like to know, are you a coffee drinker, a tea drinker, a hot chocolate drinker, or none of the above? And if you're none of the above, I'd love to know what you do when you're just have that craving for a hot beverage. Let me know your Starbucks, Dunkin', Dippin' Donuts, Stewart's, local gas station, whatever it is, whatever kind of coffee you drink, let me know your favorite. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.